Recently, I was asked if there was any way you could add a search text box where you can input a page number, information, or words that the user can end up submitting and find throughout your document. Now with my experience with InDesign, I don't know a surefire way to do that, but I do know how to do it through Acrobat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to File, scroll down to Export, I'm going to save my file as test, and the format is going to be Adobe PDF Interactive. Then click save. The next few menus that pop up, just leave the default settings, and continue just to click OK for the time being. After I click OK for the last box, Acrobat will pop up. When you're in Acrobat, to the top right here, there's an option called Tools. If you left click on it, it will give you several different options. The first one we're going to want to look at is called Forms. And underneath Forms, the very first option is called Create. Go ahead and left click on Create. When you do so, you will have to go through a few pop-up menus. The first one is asking if you're going to create or edit a form. In this case, we're going to create a form because we're making a brand new text field. And we're going to use the current document or browse to a PDF file option. Click Next. And when we get to the locate the document to convert, we're still going to stick with use the current document. And click Next again. And last but not least, you will get a little warning that says no new form field annotations were detected. Basically, there is not any type of rectangle box or area that we have already determined to be a new form field. That's basically all Acrobat is saying. So if you end up clicking OK, you still have several options that show up to the right. For us, we're going to click on Add New Field, and we're going to select Text Field. Now when you select Text Field and you hover over your document, you have Smart Guidelines and a little blue rectangular box that shows up. Left click and drag how big you want the box to be. After you let go, it will end up showing you the outline and border of the box. Now I'm gonna name this search term. And this is important because later we're gonna have to add a little bit of JavaScript to a button in order for this to completely work. Before I click off though, I'm going to click on all properties. And by doing so, I will end up getting a properties pop-up box. And I'm going to go to appearance, and I'm going to change my fill color to white. That way you can see my text. And for the time being, I'm just going to bump my text up to 18. Then I'm going to hit close. And then I'm going to go over here to my task menu and click Close form editing. Now, in order to search, we need a button to click, but that button also needs some JavaScript added to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to content, scroll down to button, and left click on it. And just like the text field, we can hover over with our smart guides, left click and drag, as big as we want our button. For the button, I'm just going to name it Submit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on All Properties again. And this time you'll notice there's this option called Actions. If you left click on Actions, you get Triggers and Actions to Execute. So what I'm going to do is for Select Trigger, I'm going to leave it on Mouse Up. And then for Select Action, I'm going to change that to Run a JavaScript. Then follow that by hitting the Add button. And right when you hit the Add button, it will immediately pop up with a JavaScript editor. Now, I already have the code written out. And just to go over it really quick, this first part is basically making a variable called text to search. And what we're saying is go ahead and get this field named search term and make it valued as a string. So right here where I say search term, it's the same name as my button. So if you name yours something differently, this little bit is going to change. 
And then it's followed by an if statement that says, if text to search is equal to whatever the user types in, then search the document and be able to pull it up in the active document. I will put this in the comments section just in case if anyone wants to copy it. So then click OK. And then we're going to hit close. If you did all that correctly, what you should be able to do now is click on the hand tool. This is basically your debug slash demonstration mode. And then you can left click into your search field. And I'm going to type the number 2. After hitting 2, I will click on my button. And right up to the left, a search menu pops up and it shows me all the pages that the number 2 shows up on. And if I want to, all I have to do is click on it and it'll jump me right to that page. So pretty easy stuff and it's pretty nice because if you want to find anything rather quickly, all you have to do again is just erase and type it in. And then just hit the button and it will find all of the different instances that those words pop up in. Again, thanks for the suggestion of making this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and come back for some more.